humanity. Thank you, Ps, for sharing your profound and priceless perspectives. Introduction by the Pleiadians. We call ourselves Pleiadians. And by way of an introduction, let us say that we are journeyers through time and multiple dimensions. We are a curious group intent upon exploring the nooks and crannies of existence, traipsing over cosmic hill and dale in search of answers to the majestic mysteries of life. All of existence is a vast web of energy, and there are seemingly endless and dazzling directions, connections, events, and entertaining diversions to explore. However, at present we are most earnestly focused on a specific place and time, Earth from the year 1987 through 2012. It appears that during this period this location safeguards the probability of a triumphant achievement where, for a short while, some of the majestic mysteries of life are realized and revealed. We are here to observe and participate in the greatness of this event. Our perspectives are multidimensional in range and scope, for we are a wondrous collective of conscious energies who are intentionally expanding our beliefs about the nature of existence throughout many points in time. The heavens are filled with life, and in our search for knowledge and greater understanding of who we are, our journey has led us to you. Earth is currently experiencing a tumultuous transformation of consciousness, the likes of which you have no recorded historical precedent for. Yet, within the corridors of human cellular memory, many images stir with a hint of strange familiarity. You are deeply immersed in a time of critical change, humanity is poised at the threshold of a new understanding of cosmic power. Naturally, many of us wonder what you will do with this knowledge. In other epochs of time, the nature of this power has been misunderstood and subsequently misused, inevitably leading the way to your self-destruction. Nevertheless, the immense cycles of living and seasons of learning continue to patiently offer the same lessons, for while life may appear to be destroyed, consciousness is ever enduring and only changed in form. Humanity is rapidly approaching the edge of the great cosmic cliffs of consciousness. What you do now, the choices you make, will determine a course of experience more complex and astounding than you can currently imagine. The dawning of a new revolution in consciousness is at hand. You cannot escape the necessity to manage this power, now or ever. In light of our adventurous spirit, we are here to share our perspectives on your rapidly changing lives, and to offer our support, as well as a few timely suggestions on managing the massively accelerated energies that silently stir your planet. The Pleiadians. Chapter 1. Multidimensional Reality and the Design of Existence We share our perspectives about the nature of existence as an offering for your consideration during these times of turmoil and change, to rouse you into waking up and taking charge of your life. Everyone on Earth is here to participate in and contribute to the mass awakening of humanity to the truth that your thoughts create your reality. This is crucial to understand since you are connected to layers and levels of reality that intertwine for the purpose of creating and exploring the majestic multidimensional nature of existence. Knowledge is sacred and the choice to be informed or merely entertained in today's world is a very revealing test of the times. Expanding your mind to penetrate the deeper meanings of life is not only liberating, it is crucial to your well-being, for knowledge is power, and how you use your power inevitably determines the course of your personal and collective life. The social and political situations you currently face, personally and globally, include a series of very intense lessons of discernment. You are all challenged to see through the well-crafted, mind-boggling business of fear that has overrun the planet. Maintaining your faith in a positive outcome for all you encounter every day is not always easy, however, it is important to remember that difficult and challenging experiences precede all worthwhile accomplishments. The choices you make and the risks you are willing to take at this time are essential to the process of strengthening your resolve and waking up to the recognition and application of your personal power. Ultimately, you create all you encounter for very good reasons. You are living in a time when opportunities for self-empowerment, expanded awareness, and spiritual growth appear to be unlimited. Everything in existence is imbued with a form of power, including you. 
For a few moments, consider your beliefs about the concepts of power and personal empowerment. What images come to you? What form of power do you imagine resides within you? From days of old, awareness and self-empowerment were considered to be inseparable counterparts, like two sides of the same coin. The combination of these qualities was treasured and valued as an essential code of wisdom throughout the dimensions and annals of space and time because it was regarded as the basis for creating and maintaining a vital existence. And now, at the beginning of the third millennium, as humankind encounters a grand cosmic lesson on the value of life, this old knowledge, like a long-lost and cherished heirloom, is ready to be reclaimed and restored to its rightful place within the showcase of human values. You are living in a time when opportunities for self-empowerment, expanded awareness, and spiritual growth appear to be unlimited. From some points of view, this is, the time and the place to be, in the midst of many, many probable realities, dimensions, and avenues of existence. As a consequence, the times in which you live are particularly challenging because you are currently immersed in exploring a very intense section of the course in human development. A powerful impetus to achieve increasingly pronounced states of greater awareness and sensitivity is driving you to feel, heal, and deal with your life situations and possibilities. All the people of Earth are in crisis, and this crisis stems from a deeply ingrained fear of knowing the truth. To release this collective bondage of fear, you must be willing to see more and go deeper into what you know. It is now time to integrate your spiritual essence and become mature about how you use your mind. You are in the midst of a tumultuous transformation, an initiation through the dark night of the soul, and you must be willing and able to identify the problems occurring in your personal and collective life and manifest their solutions. You are on the verge of an astounding worldwide spiritual revolution, and with this in mind, it is essential to know that opportunities for growth are always abundantly available if you learn to create them. Understanding the power of beliefs and the power of the mind, both individually and en masse, is the most pressing and crucial issue for humankind to grasp. Recognizing these two important keys of knowledge can open human consciousness to a new worldview of unlimited possibilities and highly creative solutions. Beliefs are essentially agreements about reality, and both personal and collective beliefs form the structure and the parameters of your life experience in any era. Beliefs, thoughts, and feelings leave a distinct formative imprint on the field of vital energy that envelops your world. You are creating all of the time and humankind is rapidly awakening to this astounding realization. The times in which you live are characterized by immense changes, and great flexibility and clear intent are required of you for dealing with this inestimable process of human transformation. Developing the ability to become aware of what you think, feel, and speak, and structuring your life with pristine clarity through thought, word, and deed are of essential importance for living an empowered life. Accepting responsibility for the power you embody is the essential and most important lesson of this transformation. Expanding awareness is sweeping the globe with astounding momentum, stimulating humanity on a cellular level to wake up and discover its power. The pressure to truthfully deal with your life and the world at large has never been greater, and for some people, the intensity required for this task seems overwhelming. During these times of change, opening your mind to consider points of view and vistas of life that extend outside of the box of accepted thinking is both sensible and admirable. The tremendous challenges caused by the accelerated energies of these times actually serve to stimulate you to perceive reality in a new way. You have chosen to be here at this time in order to contribute your own unique point of view to the cast of conscious beings who are producing, the great spiritual awakening, on planet Earth. Awareness is a state of mind, and it is also the, name of the game, in these changing times. Like a colossal storm, expanding awareness is sweeping the globe with astounding momentum, stimulating humanity on a cellular level to wake up and discover its power. You must be willing and able to call a spade a spade, that is, to name and identify what you see and sense as happening at all levels with courage and clarity. Individually and collectively, your freedom hinges on your ability to speak the truth as you see it. 
Your lessons in living also involve very difficult issues of discernment involving your relationships with both physical and non-physical reality. Each day, the choices you make are crucial to your well-being, and just as important, your thoughts not only set the course and direction of your life in the physical 3D world, they also ripple into and affect many other realities. The stakes in this, game of awareness, are steadily being raised, and you are challenged more than ever to identify your innermost feelings and acknowledge them as a primary source for creating your reality. The potential for you to be more aware is constantly increasing due to the lightning-like speed at which new ideas are being exchanged and their possibilities realized. Even though you may rely on the printed word in order to learn and expand your knowledge and awareness, you are highly telepathic all of the time. Each year since 1987, the stream of cosmic energies that affect your planet has gradually increased in intensity, resulting in the pulse of life speeding up. You may notice your life moving faster and faster, as seen by the demands made on you and the frazzling speed with which you have to operate just to maintain yourself. And, what you think about and focus on comes into being with equal swiftness. The times not only demand that you become much more aware of what is happening in the global community, but they also require a new level of responsibility and honesty in your relationship with yourself. The outer world is a mirror reflection of your inner reality. You must be willing to take charge of your life and become skilled in a new way of thinking in order to navigate the shifting currents of human consciousness. For some people, these are indeed times of tremendous stress and tumultuous transformation, and with many lives turned inside out, numerous families and individuals face the very uncomfortable feeling of being backed into a corner. The pressure to be more flexible and change one's life and beliefs is escalating at an astounding pace. The world economy is in a state of constant flux and confusion, accounting woes have wreaked havoc with the public's trust and faith in big business, layoffs continue to create more uncertainty, and the jobless rate grows daily as many people wonder how they will make a living. Rampant, disease, among animals and humans poses a staggering worldwide health crisis, politics reeks of insiders' dark deals, war drums drone on and on, nuclear attacks and terrorism rank as the number one threats in the controlled media, the increase of sexual violence and acts of perversion grows more blatant, the debt-to-credit ratio is completely unsustainable, and theft, fraud, cheating, and lying are commonly cited qualities of a very corrupt leadership worldwide. It appears that so-called leaders have failed in their assigned duty to uphold liberty and champion freedom as civic responsibilities. Now, at this stage of the game, everyone is beginning to wonder why the world is in such turmoil. This is an excellent sign, for it represents a most necessary reflection and re-evaluation of life that each person must face and make. A massive increase in the intensity of cosmic radiated energy is triggering humankind to open its eyes to a greater spiritual purpose. All of existence is filled with energy that is responsive, alive, intelligent, vibrant, flexible, and telepathic, and given that you are a part of existence, you are imbued with the same qualities. As your solar system travels the depths of space, it traverses a high-energy terrain of cosmic radiation, which is filled with a seemingly infinite web of consciousness blueprints. This creates a massive shower of fiery energy that continuously strikes Earth, which brings immense quantities of intense atomic particles that penetrate the cells and atoms of all things, providing a form of celestial electricity filled with vital life force energy. The soft spot at the crown of an infant's head was often referred to as, the door to heaven, by ancient sages because it was recognized as a gateway for the flow of cosmic energy and spiritual intelligence into the ganglia of the cranium. Cosmic radiation charges the central nervous system with life force energy and serves as an invisible extension of the physical nervous system and connection with the greater cosmos. During these times of change, a massive increase in the intensity of cosmic radiated energy is triggering humankind to open its eyes to a greater spiritual purpose and to perceive a more transcendent vista of existence. The presence of these mysterious cosmic energies has long been detected and named by many different people from a wide variety of cultures, the unified field, Chi or Kai, 
prana, orgone energy, ether, dragon force, life force, the force, and cosmic radiation, all refer to the same enigma. Regardless of how it is known, you use this energy as an unlimited source of power throughout the course of your life to project yourself into being. Within your particular field of experience, your thoughts, feelings, and desires are the raw materials and building blocks you use to create your world. The power to create resides in all forms of consciousness, and consciousness exists in a state of supreme cooperation throughout all of existence. Consciousness is existence. And love is the primary source material, the vibration of pulsating cosmic energy that fuels every aspect of the field of existence. This grand field of energy is continuously stimulated and influenced by the activities of intense celestial phenomena that permeate the reaches of space and time. With your beliefs, the spectacular display of implosions and explosions of cosmic gases and matter appears as random events, exhibiting a universe in constant collision with itself. Yet this is hardly the case. You have not yet dared to believe in or recognize the presence of the profound order that is at the core of all life. An evolving presence of collective cosmic intelligence actually moves, plans, and designs existence with distinct and deferential purpose. Actually, all forms of consciousness have the inherent power to plan and create experiences, and from a larger perspective, this entire interconnected network of cosmic consciousness is the key component in the game of life. The orbs in the heavens play many roles. Stellar components are essentially life force communication centers that are intricately woven together through a tremendous telepathic linkup. They are utilized by many intelligent beings as a means for sending specific transmissions through frequency modulation from one location to another. Every flash of light, supernova, and solar flare, every action, massive and minuscule, is essentially important to the development of all parts of this cosmic network and is clearly set into motion by way of intent in one reality or another. In the cosmos, Earth is located near the outer rim of spirals in the Milky Way galaxy, many thousands of light years away from the mystical galactic center. According to your reckoning, light travels almost 6 trillion miles in one of your years, placing you some physical distance from this source of light and energy. Even though it may appear that you exist in some remote avenue on the galactic map of the heavens, every portion of existence is interrelated and inherently connected through the powerful, pulsating, alive, caring, creative, ever-changing web of cosmic energy. You are made from this energy and actually have a duty and responsibility to manage this abundance of vitality, no matter in which domain of reality you may reside. Your world is just beginning to discover the multitude of capabilities inherent within the human form. It is most important for you to accept that you are a powerful being. Your physical body serves as your own intimate example of the impeccable design of life, the intricate and wondrous organization of your cells, bones, and organs illustrates a vast network of cooperation that mirrors back to you the primary nature of existence. By design, you are a fine achievement. A unique organic computer that is fully capable of consciously experiencing the different levels of your own reality, as well as many others. In all truth, your world is just beginning to discover the multitude of capabilities inherent within the human form. For thousands of years, many clever diversions have kept humanity from understanding the true nature of its power and natural talent for creating the world. For many millennia, limiting beliefs about your lack of personal power have been accepted as facts throughout your world, this was made manifest through focusing your power of attention on these beliefs. Such beliefs are agreements about reality, and they set the stage for what you encounter. Your state of awareness then determines how you respond to the dramas of life you have created. You have the free will to choose what you will, and what you sow will be yours to harvest. We dare say you are much more complex and wondrous than you realize. With a good measure of faith, trust, and desire, augmented with a large dose of cosmic knowledge, as well as common sense, you can certainly learn to focus your attention, be very clear about your intentions, and manifest what you want in your life.
Self-empowerment is a worthy achievement in any reality, although it is not necessarily an easy state of mind to achieve. Like any skill, it must be focused upon and developed, and called into being, yet once encouraged to awaken, self-empowerment blossoms and grows on its own, much like a hardy heirloom plant that thrives and flourishes season after season. Self-empowerment is the most natural and treasured flowering of an awakened mind. Nestled in the depths of your cells are the memories and records of all of your ancestors, some of whom dealt with the same issues you are encountering today. Perceptions of reality are imprinted in the genetic code and passed along to the various participants in a bloodline. In all lines of time and in all realities of existence, personal freedom is the prerequisite to pioneering new parameters of possibility. Although some of your ancestors knew that self-empowered people are self-determining and do not require the lessons of deceptive leadership, the freedoms and gains one generation realizes are not guaranteed for another. Each generation chooses its own values as well as what is important for spiritual growth. Individually, when you explore and expand your innate personal power, you flourish, when you abdicate it, you create tyranny. The nature of reality is such that it will mirror, mix, mingle, and play with any and all types of energy without judgments. Your thoughts, feelings, desires, and emotions, as expressed in words and deeds, are all projections of energy based on your personal beliefs. As you become more consciously aware of your beliefs, you will begin to direct the course of your life. Life is not a random occurrence, at the core, it is an experiential agreement between many beings from many realities for the purpose of exploration and discovery. Creative expression and supreme responsibility are key components for awakening and developing your spiritual intelligence. Self-empowerment is about examining yourself and knowing how and why you function as you do, and magnificent opportunities and freedoms abound whenever you choose the path of self-empowerment to co-create your reality with the power of the multiverse, which comprises all of existence including the apparent 3D universe. The current climate of consciousness opens you and your world to many discoveries of invisible powers, the power in the ether, the power in the body, and the power of intention are a composite of very old, yet essential, steps along the path to understanding life. There is a saying that power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely, implying perhaps that the dangers of power mean power is something to avoid altogether. In actuality, you are birthed from power. You are conceived in this reality through the power of sex, and an act of innate personal power propels you to leave your mother's womb at the appropriate time. The nature of existence is imbued with power and so are you. You are a powerful being, you cannot avoid dealing with power, and when it comes to power, you will always be tested to see if you will abuse and misuse it. Power is a test of character, and the choice is always yours. In one small cell, there is more potential power than you could use in your entire lifetime, however, global consciousness must first demonstrate its acceptance of ultimate responsibility for handling that kind of power before the gates to the mysteries of the multiverse are opened. The period from 1987 to 2012 has been foreseen by great sages in many ages as the turning point in a very powerful cycle of human development. Every once in a great, great while, in certain locations of time and space, a massive acceleration of cosmic energy occurs. Based on a joint agreement among various forms of intelligence, including the stars, planets, and an innumerable host of cosmic players, the acceleration is designed to awaken the various participants to a much greater experience of existence through integrating a huge vibrational change of energy. The gateway to such a time of awakening opened on your world in 1987, initiating 25 years of unprecedented change and exponential transformation. The period from 1987 to 2012 has been foreseen by great sages in many ages as the turning point in a very powerful cycle of human development. Many ancient peoples of your world placed an estimable value on the knowledge that existence is composed of multiple layers of physical and non-physical intelligence. They observed and studied the myriad of subtle, nonlinear information found in the patterns and cycles of nature. 
Throughout time, the meaning of the sun's cycles was of utmost importance to almost every civilization. Your relationship to time is based on the presence and position of the solar orb. In other ages, people recognized that the solar rays are the source of life, and they considered the sun to be God, the divine deity of creation. They also knew that endings are a sign and signature of new beginnings, for the changing seasons portrayed this great teaching with astounding style throughout the course of the Earth's yearly journey around the sun. The rhythms of nature are of key importance to understanding how your world functions. To ancient peoples, the mysteries of life, death, and rebirth were considered to be of inherent value in understanding the various cycles of development in physical reality and beyond. Time was observed to be cyclical and patterns of life were also known to repeat and spiral around again, offering new opportunities, as well as old familiarity. Many of your ancestors were operating with a very different view of life and time than you currently hold. From some perspectives, time is seen as flexible and changeable, with the past and future simultaneously occurring and as fully valid and alive as the present. Time serves as a locator and organizer of realities, creating invisible boundaries as containers for creation. In much larger terms, these 25 years of accelerated energy are like a bookmark in time, noting a place where all participating forms of consciousness experience a profound increase in awareness by integrating many essential new perceptions of reality very, very quickly. During this 25-year period of transition and transformation, the version of reality you have come to know will appear to be less and less stable. As events on the world stage steadily escalate into chaos and confusion, you will be compelled to wake up and really start thinking about what is occurring. This is both a challenging and most stimulating time to be alive, and questioning everything, your life, your beliefs, and your worldview, is the most essential part of the process of discovering your inherent power to create the world you meet. It takes great courage to question your existence, and even greater strength is required to know and recognize the truth when you see it. We often refer to this special period of time as, the nanosecond, in the annals of time, because from certain vistas and points of view the 25 years pass by faster than the blink of an eye. Looking through the annals of time in search of this period can be like looking for a special sliver of wood in an endless expanse of forest. Nevertheless, all of existence is intricately connected and all time is simultaneously occurring, therefore, with a bit of knowledge and know-how, many areas of what you consider to be time and space can be located and explored. Perspective is the key. As seen from outside your time, the years in which you live appear to be filled with magnificent opportunities for humanity to connect with vast, new vistas of knowledge, and to awaken during a spiritual renaissance of stunning magnitude. You may be wondering, how can this be? Why us? Why here? Why now? Well, all of existence is designed with great purpose, and from our perspective, you must first seek to know yourself before the answers begin to make sense. Every aspect of existence is interwoven and connected through a complex network of consciousness. Before you immerse yourself into 3D living, you have the ability to preview the parameters of earthly life, to oversee the aspects of your own plan, purpose, and intent within a specific climate of consciousness. You choose the moment and the time of your birth, as well as your genealogical bloodline, which is rich with an ancestral encoding of perceptions based on many lessons in living. In the here and now, you forget your plans in order to play your version of the game of life more effectively. You immerse yourself in your identity and become fully engaged in the process of exploring and experiencing the path you have chosen. The course of your life is a significant and purposeful journey that continuously confronts and stimulates you to develop your abilities. You actually learn about the nature of existence as you learn how to operate your biological form. You may appear to exist as a singular being, yet you have endless connections to realities beyond the bounds of your perceptions. Understanding the numerous roles that multidimensional influences play in your life is of major importance. As it becomes more and more apparent that you and your world share time and space with other realities, you will also discover that you exist in other realities as well. 
you may appear to exist as a singular being, yet you have endless natural connections to realities beyond the bounds of your perceptions. And what exactly are perceptions? How is it that a multitude of realities can exist side by side with you, yet you hardly ever notice? Individually and collectively you produce a vibrational frequency that locates you in a specific version of reality. This non-physical energy signature defines your personal nature from moment to moment and outlines the parameters of your Earth-based experience. Your greater world reality is founded upon a series of mass agreements, and your personal life is an intimate journey of self-discovery within this massive framework of reality, where you live out your chosen beliefs. How you grasp and interpret the vast array of sensations and stimuli within this multi-layered environment determines the degree of self-realization you develop. Your perceptions, or the ability to sense the various subtle nuances of reality, are awakening, and they tend to blossom and grow with greater ease when you operate from a stance of flexibility and trust. Direct telepathic knowledge actually sustains and supports a much greater reality than you currently perceive. Telepathy is a natural form of communication by frequency that is inherent within all forms of energy. Mass agreements about the nature of reality are unconsciously debated and considered on a psychic level of reality at the speed of thought. Your cells are continuously receiving data, and evaluating, processing, and transmitting signals that carry the frequency of what you are available to experience, these activities are effortlessly performed, without your being the slightest bit aware of them. At this point in your development, if you were to suddenly consciously shift into multidimensional living, where simultaneous lives, celestial relatives, and probable realities all appear at once, you would probably overload your system and blow your circuits. You must be very grounded in the 3D world to integrate and understand the myriad of signs, symbols, and meanings of other realities. First of all, you must clearly love and accept yourself for who you are, and this is no small task. When you can lovingly recognize yourself as your own creation, you free yourself from the mass-induced trance of powerless living. You must live your life with clear boundaries and distinctions, applying great discernment and discrimination of mind to all you encounter. In addition, you must learn to honestly and openly express your feelings and emphasize your own self-worth as you learn to develop a true love for who you are. Conditions, excuses, competition, or wishing you were someone else will get you nowhere. And, if you live life with few boundaries, you may find yourself greatly infringed upon by characters not only of this dimension, but others as well. You must first learn to treasure and value your human form, and then you can learn to enhance your perceptions and begin to explore the web of existence by paying attention to the great influx of vital, life-sustaining energy that fills your world. For the purpose of expanding the horizon of your beliefs, stretch your mind and imagine that you are connected to a network of intelligence that is ongoing and deeply immersed in exploring the potentials of perceptions through a very involved and good-hearted game of consciousness. After you read these words, close your eyes for a few moments, relax, and allow yourself to really feel the depth of possibilities within this concept. When you open your eyes and refocus on the here and now, intend to maintain the essence of your experience, and note any images or symbols your imagination has provided. Your imagination is an important tool for recognizing and exploring the invisible, non-physical realms that intersect with the physical world of matter. This aspect of imagination has been ignored in modern times because of a very effective and purposeful long-term campaign of control that has emphasized supreme distrust and suspicion of the body's power and capabilities. Know that the invisible non-physical realms and the physical world are all aspects of a single reality. From moment to moment, your consciousness operates in both physical and non-physical reality with profound grace and ease. You are born with this ability, yet you have been led to believe in false limitations and to distrust your inner knowing. Projects involving the conditioning and control of the human psyche have their roots in very ancient times, and many limiting ideas about the nature of reality have been deeply entrenched and encoded within your genetic inheritance, passed from generation to generation, without being challenged as to validity or purpose. 
From moment to moment, your consciousness operates in both physical and non-physical reality with profound grace and ease. The nature of any reality can appear to be separately distinct from everything else, even though every aspect of existence is connected through the commonality of vital life force energy. All realities share the capacity to link up to a network of interactive intelligence that exists within and around the confines of space and time you currently perceive. In your own time and space, human perceptions are gradually adjusting to the enormous change in awareness that is being required to restore the human link with cosmic intelligence. As your conscious awareness opens to the multidimensional qualities of existence, you will learn to gather knowledge from other places and carry it back to 3D reality to enhance and heal your own life. Your personal achievements have a profound effect on the global state of mind, and in the ideal made real, you and your world will flourish with fresh ideas and become exuberantly inspired to create a new vision of the purpose of life. When you change your attitude, you change your personal and collective life. People all over the world are realizing the need to refocus the direction of global attention toward one of honesty and integrity, where valuing peace and respectfully honoring and caring for Earth and all her creatures are of primary intent. As the vibration of the mass consciousness expands and matures, greater momentum and focus will be gained. The Earth feels these changes. An elevated state of awareness in the collective consciousness of humankind triggers the earth to unlock and release more of the complete story of time stored within her being. When you are willing to know and face personal truths, you contribute to building the frequency of consciousness required to uncover and release the truth of human history. Developing spiritual awareness unlocks the keys to Earth's archaeology, and is also of critical importance in understanding your past, present, and future well-being. The human mind is being extremely stimulated by many subtle cosmic forces to activate a new type of consciousness, and even though you have only just begun to tap into the tremendous potentials of creative expression that await your attention, many millions of people are already well on their way to exploring these life-empowering discoveries. Sometimes people are afraid of the truth, and the multidimensional aspect of their transformation appears to be shaking humanity to its core. Around the globe people are noting the sizable increase in unusual energies and activities in the heavens. Your world has always shared time and space with concurrent realities that you do not see. Interdimensional, extraterrestrial, and ultradimensional visitors are occupants of other realities that can interact and intercede with yours. Benevolent beings constantly keep a keen watch over your world, However, there is also a very pronounced and strong influence from a cadre of energies who do not have your best interests at heart. The ancient adage, as above, so below, is a truth that outlines more situations and occurrences than you can currently comprehend. Invisible energies from other realities are naturally attracted to you and your world, and the vibrations of intent that you produce will determine the quality and type of influence you experience from them. Reality is built in the mind. Those who attempt to steal or seal off your mind have hoarded these secrets for a long, long time. For many millennia the people of Earth have been continuously creating their experience by default and neglect. Thoughts and feelings, words and ideas are in a constant search to attract their likenesses. To produce effective and desirable results, thoughts must be clearly focused and directed toward a desired goal. The realization of this knowledge is of key importance in the initiation of humankind into a higher state of awareness. The tumultuous transformation sweeping your planet offers many choices to see reality in a new light, to achieve new levels of self-understanding, and to apply new principles of reality to your life. Brilliant minds, cavorting outside of the box of traditional censure and dogma, have enthusiastically concurred that thought conditions and objectifies space. Many millions of people have proved to themselves that thought creates reality by using their intuition to tap into the non-physical and invisible energies that permeate time and space and all of existence. Reality is built in the mind. Those who attempt to steal or seal off your mind have known about and hoarded these secrets for a long, long time. Liberating knowledge is not taught in your schools. 
you are dissuaded from the truth, so it is no great wonder that the major issue rising to the surface in so many lives involves repressed expression, basically, dealing with and healing feelings of fear about owning your truth on a personal, global, and galactic scale. The current fashion in Western civilization promotes doubters and skeptics who are recognized and rewarded for their worrisome speculations. And because of an ancient ingrained fear of the body and its wisdom, people can no longer tell the difference between what they are told as the truth and what makes sense to them. This collective denial has now achieved a critical mass, and ages of emotionally toxic debris are rising to the surface to be identified and safely released. From a bigger picture of reality, the people of Earth are emerging from an amnesiac-like state of collective shock, which has blocked the influx of spiritual knowledge into the human gene pool. And while it is quite obvious to many that, you create your reality, the vast majority of humans still need to be awakened from the unconsciously controlled trance of powerlessness that they voluntarily took on. The ancient battle between science and religion over the exclusive rights to define reality is reaching an appropriate crisis point, you may have dealt with this same issue in other times and places. Geological records offer ample evidence that nuclear detonations destroyed civilizations thousands of years ago. Eastern religious texts refer to many extended wars in the heavens that wreaked havoc on Earth. Sophisticated artifacts and unusual skeletons have been unearthed for centuries from undisturbed rock strata dating back millions and even billions of years. The past has been whitewashed, controlled, and erased. What you learned in school about the history of Earth paints a randomly chaotic picture of an ignorant people constantly at odds with life. These explanations have become part of the foundation of thought that embraces the concepts of powerlessness and victimhood, which is how you are officially encouraged to interpret existence. Taken to the extreme, even nature is seen as a potential enemy, an unpredictable and volatile force over which you have no influence, rather than as an extension and expression of the collective mind. To flourish and thrive, you must truly embrace and energize the concept that your physical vehicle is of inestimable value. These times of change involve a rapid emergence from an era of ignorance, breaking free from an old spell that has been in place for thousands and thousands of years. To flourish and thrive, you must truly embrace and energize the concept that your physical vehicle, the body that you occupy, is of inestimable value. You must accept your own worthiness and be willing and able to feel genuine love and appreciation for who you are, this is the essential key for opening the doors of change and attracting the very, very best experiences that life has to offer. The love you seek from others must be generated by you, for you. When you feel genuine love for yourself, you are connecting with and contributing to the vital force energy that sustains all of existence, it is the great gift you have to offer the world, your own version of the love frequency. To cultivate a loving relationship with yourself, take time every day, morning and evening, to sit or stand in front of a mirror for 5 to 10 minutes for an intimate eye-to-eye -eye appointment with yourself. Gaze steadily into your eyes, and maintaining direct eye contact, open your heart and tell yourself that you love you. Repeat the phrase, I love you, aloud as you continue to look deeply into the mirror's reflection of your eyes. Watch your pupils and irises, and allow any feelings that the words bring up to flow over your body, like warm sunshine dancing through the depths of the forest. As you participate in this exercise, you must also observe your actions and responses to your message of love. Do different versions of you appear in the mirror? Are you smiling? Do you meet something that makes you drop your gaze and look away? Is there a part of you that did not accept the love? What is your body doing? Do any tears appear to melt the seals of your memories? Are you holding your breath or breathing long and deep? How do you feel about purposely creating time to tell yourself that you are loved? Through the course of your life, learning to use your mind in a multitude of ways, such as participating in mental exercises, and then observing and reflecting upon your responses will unlock the mysteries of your own thinking.
Many multifaceted opportunities await, and if you do the work and learn to trust yourself then the times ahead will offer unique experiences to enhance your perceptions of reality. These new perceptions hold life, they hold meaning and ease and healing, and they are transmitted energetically, orb to orb and cell to cell. As a human being, you are undergoing a massive restructuring of your psyche to become more consciously aware of extensive inner truths, and as a pioneer of perception, it is imperative that you understand and trust the life you create. The current extensive acts of war and control implemented by world leaders demonstrate their desperation over losing their hold on humanity. They will do anything to divert you from paying attention to and awakening your personal power. Those who refuse to awaken feed those who control them. This is an old agreement, with no judgments. When consciousness awakens, it needs no controllers. We cannot offer you a guarantee on the viability of your reality, however, you can certainly create the version of the world you want, and there is, in effect, unlimited support for this endeavor. Your world has always been watched and studied by many, many beings, each with different intentions and agendas. Yet, in general, you are supported by those who understand the intricacies of cooperation in which there is a point, a purpose, and a dignity to the rise of control and the abuse of power. When forms of consciousness choose to forget, deny, deactivate, and disdain their own power to create and to know, when they devalue free thinking, then they become part of the drama, the game so to speak, that allows them to experience existence under the apparent control and dominion of others. The lessons and issues involve fear of the unknown, fear of perceptions, and fear of being in charge of one's life. Overcoming fear of personal power is a customary stage in the development of conscious awareness, nonetheless, the all-important question remains, how far will you go before valuing what is innately yours? The current acts of war and control implemented by world leaders demonstrate their desperation over losing their hold on humanity. It is time to connect the dots. Events serve multi-layer purposes and everything depends on the point of view. Are you willing to accept responsibility for loving yourself and the earth into a state of wholesome well-being? Can you conceive of the momentous task you set forth to accomplish in this life? Will you allow the bigger picture to be revealed? Mental flexibility involves using your imagination in creative new ways to build a foundation of thought with clear, conscious intent. Difficulty is not a signature of failure. Challenges sharpen your wits and can bring out the best of your abilities if you have faith and trust, and learn to bend with the winds of change. This is the time to fine-tune your physical, mental, spiritual, and emotional skills, and prove to yourself, and the world at large, that your thoughts imprint the life force energy around you and that you are the creator of your experience. The transformation of consciousness that is sweeping the globe is a multidimensional drama, an orchestration of supreme significance, that essentially involves an act of daring courage, an agreement between many realities to heal the mind and spirit of humanity and all they are connected to. From the point of view of the simultaneous ever-expanding now, all real healing involves a compassionate reinterpretation and energetic understanding of people, places, times, and events. The new common sense is about knowing that all of life is significant and that you must take care of it. We recommend that you become enamored of yourself, for you are a miraculous form of creation, capable of manifesting a magnificent and majestic version of existence through thought, word, and deed. Seek the path that brings fun and joyful living, where you attract meaningful and significant life experiences. You always energetically pass on what you are learning. Trust in the benevolence of existence, for it is indeed so very fine. You have your own finesse, grace, and style. Use it. This is a most fortunate time to be alive and will go down in the annals of renowned reincarnation stories. Sometime, perhaps in the future, you will tell great tales about what it was like to be alive on Earth during the great intensification of energy, a 25-year span of unfolding multidimensional mysteries, at once majestic, momentous, and forever monumental in the annals of time.
intend to embrace true knowledge and freedom, dear friend, and on the path of empowerment, be certain to make the best use of all of your nows. Chapter 2. Energy and Frequency, a New Playground of the Mind. Everything occurs for a distinct and significant purpose on all levels of reality. There are many layers of intent involved in this game of freedom, and many different realities are intertwined. The people of Earth are undergoing a profound and necessary transformation of consciousness in order to wake up to this new understanding of life. To call the challenges of life a game may sound frivolous, however, within a game there are generally rules, goals, and players. From our perspective, existence is the biggest game of all. On Earth, you are collectively engaged in learning that the physical world is not really solid or isolated or alone, all of existence is interrelated, totally connected, consciously intelligent, and completely accessible to everyone. The ancient adage, know thyself, is a timeless, if subtly simple, instruction directing you toward a greater understanding of your relationship to reality. Third dimensional reality is an inherent part of the great web of existence, which is filled with connections and meanings that continuously sustain everything you encounter and create in the physical world, in the dream state, and in realities beyond your current perception. To know yourself, you must go deep into this web. Faith is an act of trust, and entrusting yourself to the goodness of the universe does indeed focus your attention on its fruition in your life. Goodness is a state or territory of consciousness, it is not a place of escape from the less than pleasant aspects of life. With the recognition of a benevolent higher power of intelligence, even the so-called negative and undesirable aspects of life can be seen to embody a higher purpose. When you expand your thinking and question why, you alter the course of your reality, when you seek to enlighten and enliven your mind, a myriad of connections with layers of subtle meaning will begin to unfold in your life. A controlled and corrupt media has been directing the attention of the masses by uniformly reporting on a state of managed chaos. You encounter life with your attention, and you probably recall being told countless times to pay attention to one thing or another. Attention is awareness, mindfulness, and watchful consciousness. Your attention is energy. You have the freedom to place your attention anywhere you choose, the freedom to develop or ignore your attention, it is all up to you. To know yourself, you must have command of your attention, you must learn to treasure and value it, and most importantly, you must figure out how to properly use it. For many decades a very controlled and corrupt media has been directing the attention of the masses by uniformly reporting on a state of managed chaos, which is scripted and staged to produce mental confusion and fatigue. The relentless reporting and rehashing of catastrophic and traumatic events, with images of despair and destruction repeatedly planted into the minds of the viewers, create supreme states of anxiety and are, in reality, a form of psychological warfare. Authorities play with truths, half-truths, deceptions, and lies to render you hopeless, feeling it is pointless to do anything, this now passes as, the, news, and it can rule your life. When millions of people focus their attention upon listening to the same words, seeing the same pictures, and hearing the same descriptions, tremendous energy is generated and a massive thought form is created. Thought forms are vibrational blueprints that hold instructions for manifesting reality. The media captures your attention and then programs your imagination, essentially cancelling out your unique creative drive to manifest your own reality as well as your desire to know yourself. You have been conditioned to believe that all you need to know can now be found in the wonderful world of electronic boxes and the information and entertainment they hold. When, the news, is slanted toward a message of continuous war, a state of despair and a sense of hopelessness are created. A paralysis of power takes hold because you become convinced that the only reality is what is described and prescribed by the authorities in the box. Reality is created and produced by each and every one of you, and those seeking to control the world have kept this knowledge a well-guarded secret. Your imagination is a priceless and handy tool for developing and exercising your attention toward creating what you want in life. In the imagination all thoughts are real. 
As a simple exercise to empower your being, imagine that you are comfortably seated on an old stone bench in a lovely pastoral setting. The sky is brilliant, a deep azure blue, the sun is shining on the far horizon, no one is around, and you feel safe, secure, and very happy. Releasing a deep sigh of contentment, you close your eyes and relax into the moment, which is yours and yours alone to enjoy in blissful peace. All of your cares and concerns are washed from your mind, and you feel fresh and new, like the earth after a warm summer shower. The rays of the sun greet you like an old, trusted friend, offering soothing warmth that penetrates deep into your body. Your breath is steady and deep, and the delicious scents and sounds of nature tantalize your cells with a sense of timeless familiarity. You are free now to surrender to the rhythm of deep relaxation and all that the moment offers. As your physical body becomes more and more relaxed, your attention is now free to roam into a new playground of the mind. Listen with your left ear, reaching out far into the surrounding countryside, and then listen with your right ear in the same fashion. Alternate your hearing from left to right, left to right. Now listen with both ears, finding the special place of acoustical balance in the center of your brain. See the cells of your body busily occupied with absorbing life-enhancing energy from the sun. Now refocus your attention, and enter a single cell to observe more closely what is occurring. Notice how the components of the cell are responding to the natural light, and notice the relationship of space to matter. If there are areas within the cell where the light is not reaching, use a soft piece of gold silk cloth to lovingly wipe the area clean. When the cell is completely clean, send a message to all of the cells in your body asking them to align and entrain with the cleansing you just performed. Listen carefully for a response to your request. Feel your cells dancing with joy as they fully absorb and bathe in the life-enhancing rays of the sun. When you can really feel the excitement and vitality of your cells, send heartfelt love into every nook and cranny of your body. Relax into the rising feeling of love and great appreciation for who you truly are. Now picture the vital life force energy bursting forth from your body on a cellular level and see it rippling and blending with the energies of Earth. Imagine that you are carrying this energy and state of awareness with you wherever you go. Play with this energy and direct it toward the version of reality you would like to experience. Be reasonable and generous with your possibilities, and gift yourself well in your mind. Refocus on your breath, making certain it is still steady and deep, and feel the warmth of the stone bench upon which you are sitting. Before opening your eyes, focus your attention and your conscious awareness for a few moments just behind your eyelids, feeling the power of the sun penetrating deep within your body. Now take a few long, deep breaths and imagine you have just returned from a wonderful journey. When you open your eyes, notice that the sun is shining with a brilliant new light. You can create a place of power and peace in your mind any time you choose, for your imagination is always at your beck and call. Many ancient cultures knew that the rays of the sun were encoded with a language of light that transferred information directly to the mind, influencing and affecting everyone with a subtle stream of cosmic intelligence. The rays of sunlight were believed to nourish and support the world by expanding the mind and enhancing conscious awareness to include new vistas of understanding. People knew that the mind was a tool to navigate realities. It is essential to understand that the events unfolding in your world are not a result of random, meaningless acts. The opportunity to wake up and grow in conscious awareness is ever-present and awaiting your attention. Each moment is teeming with vitality and filled with the presence of cosmic intelligence. Observing and considering a situation from many viewpoints expand the horizons of experience and understanding, just as visiting Egypt to explore the Great Pyramid in person is infinitely more engaging and meaningful than merely seeing a photograph. From one perspective, the seemingly increasing levels of turmoil and chaos in the world can be attributed to the recent acceleration of a secret and long-term plan to control the world by molding and manipulating the human mind. However, just like a photograph, this point of view is merely a snapshot capturing one frame of reality, all the while implying the existence of so much more. 
multiple points of view converge for a collective purpose, and the intentions and experiences of all participants, physical and non-physical, must be taken into consideration when questioning the whys and wherefores of today's world. Plans within plans within plans weave webs of intriguing possibilities throughout this period of transformation. Situations and people appearing to limit and control your reality can serve many purposes, depending on your interpretation and point of view. A willingness to consider new concepts and ideas stretches your mind into new territories of awareness. It is essential to understand that the events unfolding in your world are not a result of random, meaningless acts. Everything occurs for a distinct purpose. Humanity is undergoing a profound process of awakening to new realizations about the nature of existence. Can you recall the times your attention was captivated by a stunning series of tantalizing synchronicities or a cluster of life-changing events? Throughout the cosmos the scheme of existence is both intricately planned and spontaneously free to grow and change. And so, too, are you. The parameters of 3D reality are part of a much greater reality that is deeply connected and interrelated to your world. Consciousness, in many shapes and sizes, coalesces to form constructs of thought and mass agreements of cooperation that actually sustain and support your world. You operate with and originate from agreements of consciousness, and you expand and traverse and build, all that is, with every breath you take and every thought you entertain. The parameters of any civilization are dreamed into being from the spiritual realms by the collective imagination of all the participants. In a state of non-physical reality, a structure of energy is created to support and contain the collective ideal. Energy, which can be directed, molded, and shaped into any form, is unlimited in its potential. Civilizations manifest with a wide variety of intents and purposes based on the agreements of their designers and builders. You are not born into a world without contributing to its design, and you are continuously affecting and interacting with the non-physical structure of your current civilization through a process of cellular telepathy. You are also telepathically interacting with other structures of reality that are interspersed throughout time. Your current civilization, like all realities, is composed of structured energy that is located on a frequency band, like a radio station broadcasting its programs from a distinct address. Frequency signatures define and outline the purpose and maintain the continuity of all versions of reality. Physical reality is a model of creative cooperation conceived in the realm of spiritual intelligence. A wealth of consciousness, in a non-physical state of being, organizes, plans, designs, and tends the seeds, or blueprints, of physical reality. In the physical world, thought forms and ideas about reality are received telepathically from the consciousness that nurtures physical reality into being. Thoughts and ideas weave themselves through myriad realities and travel on rays of light that are visible, like the rays of the sun, and on light signals from high-frequency cosmic radiation, such as gamma rays, which you cannot see. Ideas for the physical support of your civilization are constantly being transmitted by rays of light from one dimension to another. The current structures of civilization, roadways, buildings, fuel, water, and communication lines, systems of law, commerce, learning, agriculture, and the arts, are the resulting physical manifestations of non-physical blueprints. These physical structures create an arena, or platform of reality, from which earthly life can be explored. Your identity, which is both physical and non-physical in nature, spans many realities that you have been encouraged and trained to ignore. Every era is influenced by vast cosmic forces that transmit and transfer energy into the structure of civilization. Your identity, which is both physical and non-physical in nature, spans many realities that you have been encouraged and trained to ignore. The heavens have always captivated the attention of humanity, and many ancient cultures looked to the skies to confirm the belief that every living thing has an awareness of its own, and that existence is bounded by specific cosmic laws. To live and work in harmony with those laws was considered as natural and essential as breathing. 
The presence of patterns and cycles revealed a design to reality that implied the existence of a designer, and activities in the heavens have been observed and studied for this very reason by every culture and civilization on earth. The striking and majestic marching order of the sun, moon, planets, and stars offered important knowledge concerning the mysteries of life, especially for those decoding the cryptic, as above, so below, layers of truth. Many of your ancestors professed a belief in the inherent connection between the heavenly domains and life on earth. The word astro is derived from the Greek word for star, and at one time the current hard science of astronomy, which deals with the so-called material universe beyond Earth's atmosphere, and the art of astrology, which is based on interpreting the influence of heavenly bodies on human affairs, were united. The roots of this knowledge reach deep into Mesopotamia, the land between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, where a fully formed civilization appeared over 6,000 years ago, magically manifesting itself practically overnight. This land, which today is within the country of Iraq, is considered by many historians to be the cradle of civilization. When Baghdad, the ancient capital and cultural center of Iraq, was occupied during the war in the spring of 2003, rampant and frenetic looting led to the destruction and disappearance of priceless artifacts spanning almost 7,000 years of history. In light of this destruction, it is most interesting to note that the ancient dwellers on this land looked to the heavens with great awe and respect, for they claimed they were taught about the mysteries of existence from those who came from the stars. The planets in your solar system are designed to function in a cooperative and synchronized pattern to establish a foundation for development within cycles of time. The path of the sun's annual circle of the heavens is known as the ecliptic, and this narrow ribbon of space is home to the zodiac, an imaginary belt in the heavens extending about 8 degrees on either side of the ecliptic. The paths of the sun, moon, and principal planets orbit within this great circle of stars. Ancient people divided the zodiac into 12 constellations, and each stellar configuration was noted as an astrological sign, usually depicted by an animal. Animals were known to be multidimensional journeyers who traverse many realities, and it was therefore natural to honor the stars, which were home to many realities, with respected earthly icons. Mapping the heavens and charting the course of the planets, as they traversed the vault of stars, became a way for people to understand the great mysteries of life and to locate their celestial families. The sun plays the primary and most essential role of relaying light-encoded information by transmitting and dispersing blueprints of consciousness and ideas about reality on gamma rays, which are a form of high-frequency radiation. Your life is intimately connected to the celestial activities that distinguish the heavens at the time of your birth. As the sun moves around the zodiac forming a great circle in the sky, each day of the year is signified by a degree within one of the twelve astrological signs. The dates and degrees accumulate records or memories of all occurrences. The sky is a map of knowledge, and each moment in time carries an energetic imprint, or outline, of its presence that is unique unto itself, like a footprint left in sand. You qualify for the time of your birth, just as you would for a particular type of employment. Some moments are much more auspicious than others, and the proper credentials on your spiritual resume must be present in order to fit with the prevailing energies. A horoscope is a specific map, or picture, of the heavens that is cast for the date, time, and location of your birth. The positions of the sun, moon, and planets, as well as the sign that hovers at the horizon, are all placed around the wheel of the zodiac to reveal the intricate mathematical relationships that portray your personal blueprint and potential for development. This map can reveal your physical, mental, emotional, and spiritual gifts and challenges, and you are always free to grow and change, according to your own volition. Also noteworthy are the nodal points, or the locations where the path of Earth and the path of the Moon intersect, forming what is known as the, head and tail of the sky dragon, or the north and south nodes. The location of the celestial dragon in a chart is of utmost importance, for it indicates the direction in which you are moving to achieve the fulfillment of your personal destiny, as well as the place in the past that you are emerging from.
Once you are born into physical reality, you unfold your life within an imprint of cosmic energy that embodies a plan of intent and purpose, a plan designed and approved by you. Throughout the annals of creation, Earth is considered to be a monumental storehouse of precious information, a living library, encrypted within the layers and layers of genetic coding of its organic life. Your science enthusiastically seeks to unravel the genetic codes of life without understanding where and how this magnificent order arose. Your heritage is from the stars. How often has your gaze been drawn upward into the night skies? How many wonderings and prayers have you sent into the vault of heaven? How many times have you counted the stars or pondered over the power of the sun? Your deepest inner longings are legitimate flutters of memories desiring to be rekindled and awakened to a continuity of purpose that spans the cosmos. You came to earth to anchor this ancient knowledge into the human form, knowing that life here offers as many opportunities and gifts as you may choose to experience. Learning to recognize and read frequencies, or levels of consciousness, offers you a profound new form of liberty and freedom. The concepts of animate and inanimate or organic and inorganic matter do not justly describe all the possibilities of the known or unknown universe. Consciousness is the ever-present constant. Everything has a distinct vibration and frequency of energy, which serve as a form of identification and proclamation of uniqueness within the field of existence. Frequencies are vibrations of energy that are determined by their rate of reoccurrence. Some frequencies travel through the many layers of existence, traversing what you think of as time and space. The ability to sense and feel and transmit energy is a natural function of the human form. These times of heightened and accelerated energy offer the perfect opportunity to expand your mind by developing and fine-tuning your perceptions, and your perceptions expand when you learn to look for the layers of significance and hidden meanings of life. Fully participating in life, as well as learning to observe your interactions without judgment, is essential for developing an enhanced awareness. Learning to recognize and read frequencies, or levels of consciousness, offers you and your world a profound new form of liberty and freedom. The possibilities of an awakened mind and its benefits have yet to really dawn on humanity. When the potentials of these abilities are fully understood and utilized, you will begin to recognize the powerful effects that the galactic center, the womb of the Milky Way galaxy, exerts on your life. Now, practically speaking, you must first learn to manage your attention in the here and now in order to become much more aware of the language of frequencies. Inner signals and messages are effortlessly and generously transmitted by everyone, areas of existence that appear to be non-existent constantly knock on the doors of your perception, fountains of knowledge continuously spring forth from your inner being, yet most often, you never even notice. Feelings, impressions, and memories are all valid components of consciousness that cooperate to play essential roles in awakening your vital energy, expanding your attention, and connecting you to a greater view of reality. Every one of you is here in cooperation with a collective purpose. In life, the role you play is entirely of your own making, you write the script and direct the course of action while continuously adding to and changing your course of possibilities. There are no limits to your creativity. Whatever you do in your version of the world affects and directs the course of civilization. The startling changes that are sweeping your globe are blatant signs that inner upheavals of immense proportions are transpiring, and as people the world over are challenged to confront the curtailing of their freedom, many are now remembering the parameters of possibility they agreed to explore before they were born. During this era of change, the collective intent of humanity appears to be deeply committed to a tremendous opportunity for spiritual growth and expansion, where the experience of being on earth is both the purpose and the teacher. On one level of your experience, you are here to participate in the mass movement of consciousness toward a collective integrated memory. To raise the stakes and make the experience much more interesting and worthwhile, Obstacles of every make and size have been introduced into this drama from many levels of reality. 
Every era has an overall game plan that can be studied, explored, and experienced through many directions of time. From a nonlinear perspective, all time is simultaneously occurring. Stellar and planetary positions in the heavens play a definitive role in establishing a structure and purpose by transmitting energetic influences that outline, and to some extent, define the potential and probable directions of the times in which you live. To fully contribute to this transformation in your own unique fashion, you selected an identity based on the numerous talents and abilities you have accumulated from experiences in many directions of time. You inserted yourself with great care into your chosen life. Deciding to be here is an achievement in itself, however, understanding what is unfolding around you is an even greater accomplishment. Billions of people have come here to play a part in this great drama, to recognize and remember that they are energetic beings whose thoughts, feelings, and emotions create the world they meet. Consciously learning to recognize frequencies and then producing those you want is an underlying key to the game, being able to read and communicate with the life energies of your environment is a worthy goal for all humanity. To develop the skill of consciously reading and making frequencies, you must learn to pay attention to the subtleties of life. In seeking to know yourself, new vistas of reality will inevitably unfold. Awareness and control of the breath are the essential keys for understanding and developing the higher mind, because they form a very powerful and natural way to connect with both inner and outer sources of the vital life force energy. By focusing your attention, you can use your breath to stabilize yourself, to have more energy and enhance your immune system, to create beneficial brain wave patterns, and to travel into the interior of your being to acquire transcendent knowledge and information from a source beyond your linear view of the world. You must learn to pay attention to where your breath takes you, for it is a very powerful tool for activating and using your physical form to its greatest extent. Breathing exercises create a strong foundation within the body for those seeking higher consciousness, and we highly recommend that you adopt the discipline of always returning your attention to conscious breathing. Breathing is an exchange of energy between the outer world and the inner domain of your body. No matter what you are doing, tucking the children into bed, driving the car, making supper, making love, or dashing to the office, modulating your breathing patterns is a way of staying centered, expanding the use of your mind, and enhancing your physical prowess. Take a few moments and notice the way you normally breathe. Can you feel yourself breathing? Can you hear the sound of your breath? How deep are your breaths? Is there any movement in the chest? Are you filling the lower lungs with your breath? Now, with a greater focus of your attention, clear your throat, relax your tongue, gently separate your jaw, and inhale slowly through your nose to the count of four. Feel your breath swirling into your nostrils and listen for the sound of the wind in a cave at the back of your throat. Consciously follow your breath into your body. Picture your breath filled with vibrant golden spirals of energy that are moving over your larynx, down your throat, and into the bottom of your lungs. When you have completed the in-breath, pause for a few moments, then completely and thoroughly exhale with a long and deep out-breath, also to the count of four, then pause before beginning the round again. Do your best to keep your attention on your breath as you read. Deep, rhythmic breathing calms and rebalances your entire body. On the second or third deep in-breath, picture and feel the vibrant golden spirals of energy penetrating the walls of your lungs and moving into the bloodstream. As the vital energy enters your bloodstream, see it swirl toward your heart. Allow the focused energy to enter all of the heart's chambers, then see and feel the vitalized blood moving from your heart throughout all of your body. Imagine your blood as a brilliant ruby red river, powerfully alive and intelligent, carrying the vital life force energy on a steady and purposeful course throughout your body. Keep breathing and enjoy the power of your focused attention. You can focus the energy of your breath with any imagery you like, according to how you want to feel or express yourself. Vital energy is free and completely open to be directed and molded by you. When you consciously breathe, you immediately alter the frequency of your brain wave patterns into a more awakened and integrated state of awareness. 
By learning to adjust and refocus your attention, you will become more aware of the extensive range of frequencies, from both physical and non-physical sources, that vie for your attention. Electromagnetic waves of cosmic radiation, composed of pulsed light energies, travel throughout existence conveying vast amounts of information. The nature of existence is founded upon cooperation, and everything occurs for a distinct and significant purpose on all levels of reality. Pulsations of energy permeate all of existence to form a super-conscious cosmic mind that serves as a source of energy and a repository of all knowledge. A constant stream of creative impulses from the cosmic mind stimulates exploration and development by opening new avenues of awareness throughout existence. Multiple layers of purpose are always involved in any event, and the greater number of people engaged, the more energy generated. Participation, by thought, word, or deed, strengthens a thought form with the potential to energetically alter the course of human consciousness in any direction. The emotional intensity behind the thought form determines the outcome. When your emotions are being manipulated, it is much more challenging to take a stand and clearly assess the situation. A new and spiritually invigorating cosmic perspective is required for humanity to fully understand the purpose of the extreme polarization of the civilized world, and to eventually unify it. In this regard, old habits, patterns, and addictions, which limit and confine the human spirit, are rapidly breaking down and clearing the way for a new order of the mind based on a global revival of responsibility, accountability, and personal empowerment. Light is electromagnetic radiation that travels in wave form, and your cells, which are crystalline in structure, eagerly respond to natural light. Electromagnetic waves of cosmic radiation, composed of pulsed light energies, travel throughout existence conveying vast amounts of information. The human brain and nervous system function in both physical and non-physical reality, serving as receivers for this vast array of electrical impulses, which permeate space and engulf the planet. Your cells are always on duty to transduce, translate, transmit, and sort out the myriad of frequencies signals, or messages, in the nerves, brain, and body are carried by weak electrical impulses that radiate energy into physical and non-physical reality, maintaining constant contact with the higher power of the cosmic mind. The rays of the sun support this connection and can fluctuate in regard to the rate, quality, and speed of pulsed solar light radiation, and thereby affect different eras of time with very different transmissions of energy. Modern-day orthodox medical and psychological sciences rely on models of the mind that recognize only the conscious, subconscious, and unconscious aspects, with little interest in or acknowledgement of your innate connection to the cosmic mind and its greater vistas of reality. You are a multidimensional being, and over time the massive misrepresentation of this aspect of your greater being has had a profound impact on the human mind. As a natural response to these long-term constrictions, a healthy rebellion is brewing within the mass thought form that holds your reality together. The release of vast amounts of pent-up psychic energy is stimulating a sudden expansion of consciousness that is spreading telepathically throughout the world as well as into other layers of reality. The powers of the cosmic or higher mind offer a fascinating new frontier that is available for all people to explore. Your brain, which is divided into two hemispheres, is considered to be the central clearinghouse for communication in physical reality, although in actuality, many layers of your physical and non-physical identity are involved. Nonetheless, your brain performs important functions. The right hemisphere, which affects the left side of the body, rules abstract, intuitive, creative, and imaginative thinking, while the left hemisphere operates on rational, analytical, and logical methods, and rules the right side of the body. Harmony between the two hemispheres is essential for both learning and for activating full brain potential. Activities that stimulate and develop the qualities of each side of the brain actually exercise your mind into a state of wholesome balance and greater intelligence. Slowly rotating your eyes from left to right, 
without moving your head, will activate both hemispheres, walking with your knees slightly lifted, and alternatively touching the top of your kneecap with the palm of your opposite hand, will also create hemispheric balance. However, listening to the sounds of nature by alternating your hearing from the left to the right ear will give you the very best results. Traditionally, the mind is categorized into three basic areas of functioning, conscious, subconscious, and unconscious, which, for the sake of your imagination, can be pictured as a small green pea, a large sweet onion, and a very big potato. The conscious mind is composed of the self that is in charge, aware, and thinking, the version of you that directs the program, plants the seeds, and pilots your plane of intent in 3D reality. The conscious mind, or the P, is where you believe you operate from. The subconscious mind, or the large sweet onion, carries out commands from the conscious mind and is like a huge bank that holds layers and layers of all your memories. It also serves as a resplendent storehouse of knowledge for multidimensional connections and memories that travel by way of electromagnetic impulses from times beyond your current time. The unconscious mind, or the very big potato, is your deep personal inner radar, which gathers a very large base of knowledge that is rich and ripe with a spiritual reconnaissance from the deepest and most cosmic levels. Impulses, signs, signals, and symbols received from the cosmic mind, which for the sake of analogy is a garden, are translated and held for transmission by the deeply buried unconscious mind. Activity in the brain is a reflection of an individual's state of mind and can be measured by electroencephalograph EEG machines. EEG readings detect the number of brain wave cycles per second, noting specific wave frequencies or repetitions that signify the patterns of thought being used. Frequency is the speed at which electrical activity occurs and determines the various levels of brain wave activity, beta, alpha, theta, and delta. Beta waves are affiliated with conscious mind operation and indicate a normal, thinking awake state at the highest rate of cycles per second. Alpha waves are slower and serve as a very important link, or bridge, between the higher rate frequencies of the conscious mind, and the much slower vibrations of theta and delta waves. The alpha state, which we will call the carrot bridge, is most easily accessed through visualization and relaxation, meditation, walking or sitting in nature, or slowing down to enjoy a cup of tea can revive and restore your inner balance. Relaxing your tongue and gently separating your jaw will also adjust your frequencies from beta wave consciousness into the alpha frequency that leads to enhanced creativity. Focusing on your breath, daydreaming, and activating your senses also access the alpha state. Children spend a large amount of time in the alpha state when they are playing, and everyone travels through the alpha level when falling asleep. When you can catch yourself hovering in this sublime state, you may notice streams of energy moving and shuffling about in your mind. On the other side of the alpha state is theta, where even slower frequencies indicate activity in the subconscious mind. Below theta are the very slow delta waves, which reveal activity in the unconscious mind a highly programmable state that houses deep psychic connections that transcend linear time. In the delta state your reality sensors are finely tuned, yet this frequency indicates a state of deep sleep with the unconscious mind in full operation. It is the unconscious mind that is linked to the memories of the cosmic mind, and the cosmic mind is activated when all wave patterns, beta, alpha, theta, and delta, are simultaneously present. The electromagnetic frequencies of your thoughts, weaving back and forth in time, affect other realities with similar issues. Throughout time the people of Earth have used various levels of brain wave activity to enhance their capabilities with unique creativity. Your histories do not adequately focus on the true essence of human achievement. The years ahead will see electrifying and lightning-like changes to the mass psyche of humanity when all that has been hidden becomes apparent. Untold issues, which the conscious mind has been unwilling to recognize and deal with, will surface from storage in the subconscious to provide a golden opportunity to collectively clean the human mind of unprocessed information and emotional debris.
many of your ancestors led very interesting lives, and their exploits and memories are stored away as worthy contributions to the collective consciousness of humanity in the subconscious and unconscious minds. The real knowledge that you are seeking is inside. Events that the beta wave conscious mind thinks are long gone can still be very real and present, occurring simultaneously from the multidimensional vista of the cosmic mind. Various timeline realities are interwoven and connected to each other by the issues and lessons being played out in the physical world, the electromagnetic frequencies of your thoughts, weaving back and forth in time, affect other realities that are dealing with similar issues. On a cellular level, everyone is in a perpetual state of instant communication, and individuals from other times are often well aware of this ongoing exchange. The modern era is founded upon a mass belief that gathering information is an external process, and it can be, however, you are naturally designed to experience reality from an inner position of personal empowerment, which leads to a much more joyful and expansive vista of vitality and creative expression than is currently believed possible. Existence is a multi-layered enterprise that is both highly complex and conversely quite simple. In essence, it is a fine joining of frequencies based on a conscious cooperative agreement. Energy patterns continuously ripple and run into other layers of reality, creating an open exchange of frequencies and signals.